amid speculation of him fleeing the country after the encounter with the state security service. The national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, Comrade Adan Soshomole, is back in Nigeria. The embattled chairman of the All Progressive Congress hosted a media briefing immediately after his arrival where he debunked allegations that his invitation by the Department of State Service was linked to any financial fraud case. In his world, we have met a couple of times to discuss issues that have to do with the country, our party. If they have information or if there are certain clarifications they need, we have had conversation on a variety of issues. The APC boss further said it was not in the place of the Department of State Service to demand his resignation. According to him, it is not up to them to demand the resignation of a party chairman. If there are issues of finances or issues of fraud or corruption, I don't think this falls within the purview of the Department of State Service. Meanwhile, the war of words between the APC chairman and governor of Imo State, Rochas Okorocha, over the recent party primaries is far from over. Uh, of the 20, 23 states that are under APC governorship, uh, other APC state government, I believe we are, uh, 20 of them are, are quite happy. And of the 36 states and FCT, everything considered, I think we are far, far more peaceful than any other thing. The headlines I get, uh, sometimes you would think that APC is on fire. It could have been better than this. I mean, we have fielded, um, because even in, 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 in those days that we have issues, Governor Moses' name, as we speak, is before INEC as a senatorial candidate for APC. So that tells you that we have nothing against him. The governor at the weekend, through his chief press secretary, Sam Onwe Meodu, responded to the allegation. The statement read, There is no direct or indirect relation of Okorocha in his government. So as it stands now, Rochas is the only Okorocha running election. But Oshomole is the no-family dynasty builder. Judging from the intrigues, accusations and counter-accusations that have characterized the APC primaries and the plan to unseat the national chairman, it is left to be seen how Comrade Oshomole will take such threats and what his next move might be to unite all forces in the party. There will be what I call uh disagreements that will lead to agreement. Uh, but in all of this, we have to appreciate Mr. President. You will realize that earlier today, we, the governors, some of us met with him, and uh, that is the result we are seeing here. But of course, you know that our, our party believes in, in fair, fair, fair uh, justice and equity. And uh, we, are, we are making sure we keep that by giving everybody a chance to vote or to be voted for. And that's why we introduced the issue of the direct primaries in most states. The drama may just be starting as the countdown to the elections in 2019 draws near. As for Roos TV, we will be here to follow the drama. Chokes Okwatu and Tosin Busayo, Roos TV Abuja.